I really think you should switch games, Joe. You are getting cooked. Shut up, Obama. I'm trying to concentrate. Joe, you said that the last 20 matches. You are not him. Maybe if you weren't such a sweat, then I would actually win. That's a major skill issue, Joe. Plus, this is also my first time playing this game. It's not like I can actually win an online match. Fuck this game. This shit is too hard. Took you long enough. Too bad our choices aren't too big. Donald's cheap ass only has four games installed. Is that why you sent him to GameStop to buy more games? Exactly. Either way, you got your laptop ready? I don't think Donald is going to come back soon. Don't worry, Barry. I took my pills and brought my laptop. Ready to hop in some custom zombies? Let's do this. Five hours later. OK, Joe, I agreed to play this map with you, but why the hell did you make me download this anime mod? It fits the atmosphere. No, it doesn't. Not one bit. Actually, where the hell is Trump? It's been five hours, I think. Hold up your right. I bet his fat ass didn't even go to GameStop and just went straight to McDonald's. Let me call him up. Maybe his greedy ass can at least buy us some ice cream cones. God damn, Obama, I can't believe you made me come to this depressing ass place. He didn't even tell me what game he wanted. Oh, well, I guess I'll just buy this game. Oh, hey, sir, I saw that you picked up a fantastic game, but if I were to- And who the fuck asked you with your yee-yee ass haircut? That's a bit rude, sir, but I get that you're very busy. But I just wanted you to maybe switch out that game for this one. Kid, tell me a good fucking reason on why I should buy this shit and not beat the fuck out of you. It's because this game shows a side that I thought no one else would see. It's been three weeks since I came to this world, and seeing this game brought me so much joy. So please, sir, if you could, then can you? Why does no one take me seriously? Well, maybe if you didn't radiate soy boy energy, then maybe we would take you seriously. Oh, sorry, sir. Do you need any help? See? You didn't even have a rebuttal. Look here, kid. I know for a fact that they don't pay you enough to care. So, if you come with me and help me exact my revenge on the fat bastard that walked out, then I'll help you become a Sigma male that will make every woman flaunt over you. I don't know, sir. I know I don't have my quirk anymore and people treat me like absolute trash. But taking revenge on someone still doesn't sit right with me. As a hero, it's my job to tell you that and he's already gone. I hate this world. I swear this country is crumbling faster each day. I can't wait to take back my spot in the White House. Mm. Who the hell is calling me right now? Hey, Burger Muncher, what's the holdup? I know for a fact buying a video game doesn't take six fucking hours. Well, Barack, if this country wasn't run by damn liberals, then I wouldn't have taken so much time. So let me guess, after you stormed out from the store, you went straight to the Golden Arches. Maybe. Knew it. But while you're there, can you get us some ice cream cones? Because I know you didn't buy a game after you stormed out. Whatever, if you want your stupid ice cream cone, then come here and pick me up. Because I'm not going back to that GameStop. Fine, but you better not eat up all the food. No promises. OK, Joe, we need to finish this match. Donald wants us to pick him up if we want those ice cream cones. Man, and we just barely started getting to the high rounds. Yeah, I know. Let's just go and pick up Donald before he eats the whole damn McDonald's store. Now, where the hell is he at? You don't have to look too far, Joe. Just look at where the most bags are at. Oh, hey, took you long enough. Jesus, Donald. There's so many bags that the editor didn't even bother to add them. Enough breaking the fourth wall, Joe. Donald, ready that wallet because we want our cones. Yeah, yeah, just put in the damn order. And don't bother asking the useless cashier over there. She's tweaking out harder than Joe when he gets a whiff of a child's shoulder. Shut up, man. How about you explain to us how it took five fucking hours to not even buy a game? Look, man, I had a flat tire and my Mexican driver got arrested mid-tire change. Hey, we can argue about this, but can we get our ice cream? I'm starving. Maybe you should get some actual food and not just ice cream. Whoa, now, I only offered an ice cream cone, not a whole fucking meal. Chill out, Mr. Krabs. I'm the one offering Joe, so you can stop worrying. Then can you get me a Happy Meal, Barry, and please tell them to give me a girl's toy? I always like them better than the boys. Jesus, you're weird. Let's go and sit down while we wait for our food. Hey, Donald, I just thought of a new nickname for you. What, the double patty? You're more like a quadruple patty. Fuck you, Obama. Nah, how about we call you Donnie? I think it's a pretty cute nickname. Joe, if you don't want to breathe out of a tube for the rest of your fleeting life, then you better not call me by that zesty ass nickname. What even got you to leave the GameStop? Perfect question, Obama. 
And let me tell you, it's because when those weird LGBTQ whatever people started to annoy the hell out of me. He had the stereotypical green hair and hero complex. He looked exactly like a fucking anime character. Wait, did he have freckles and sounded like he swallowed a squeaky toy? Wait, how do you know that, Joe? Is he one of your weird friends? Nah, he's actually too- Think before you speak, Joe. We're in public right now. Oh, right, but yeah, I know him. He's the new server in the Ben and Jerry's right across the street. Wait, what happened to the last server? You reported him and got him deported. Oh, right, now I remember. Doesn't matter, really. I'll just call up Goku to let me borrow the Dragon Balls again. This again, Joe? Goku is not real. Come on, Trump, you don't remember? Joe, I know you're not running for president anymore, but please take those pills. You too, Barack? Don't you remember that me, you, and Donald were fighting for our universe's survival? Obama, you should really talk to him about those pills. Because I know for a fact he hasn't taken... Look, man, I tell him each day, but he just doesn't listen. He even told me this morning that he did take them. Hey, that car looks familiar. Wait, is that Ben Shapiro? And is that that liberal from GameStop? I know that the multiverse is crumbling right now, man, and that some guys looking like us are doing some crazy shit to save their world. But believe me when I tell you that we are not those guys. Fine, if this is how it's going to be, then you better... Holy Mother Mary, what the hell was that? Joe, you walking corpse. Were you asleep this whole time? Donald, what the hell is happening? We'll tell you later, Joe. Catch. You have a better angle, so aim and take the shot. Aim for that green-haired kid and that slimeball Ben. But Barack, I don't know how to shoot a gun. There's no time for your dementia. Lock in or we're dead. I don't know if we should be doing this. You know, sometimes when we think... Shut your bitch ass up. No one gives a fuck about how you peaked in high school. No, this is wrong. Not only are we about to take three lives right now. It's four, actually. But these guys haven't even done anything wrong. They deadass robbed a bank, made me lose my job, and they're all presidents at one point. They definitely committed some war crimes, especially Obama. But there are still humans who can be healed and be brought back from their evil ways. Let me talk to them. After all, it's a hero's duty to stop this. Wait, aren't you- Broke-ass nematode. Hell yeah, Joe. Good shit, Sleepy Joe. Thanks, guys. Okay, Barack, now can you please skip us back to the house? I really don't want to get arrested again. No problem, Big Orange. Man, that was close. You should probably be careful. Seems like Ben won't stop until he gets his revenge. Wait, you didn't shoot Ben? Was I supposed to? Oh my God, so you're telling me that I'm still in danger? Don't worry, Trump. It's not like Ben has anything that could threaten us. Come on, guys, let's not worry about that. How about we go and play some zombies? Now you're speaking my language. Let's reach round 100. 